Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to add hidden tokens with notes on them within above DTT. Uh, so a lot of times you will be running maybe an official adventure or your own with a dungeon and lots of different rooms and uh, you don't want to have to memorize right, every room or what every section has in them. Well, there's a fun way that you can work around this, of course. So uh, what I will go ahead and do is um, well, first you're viewing here the uh, player map of Cragmall Hideout. I could of course be running this DM map that has all the numbers associated to the room numbers on them, uh, but personally I like to use just the player map. Uh, sometimes there's misalignment between the DM and player map due to d and Beyond uploading them um, in a way that isn't exactly precise for VTTs or intended for VTTs. So uh, to mitigate that problem I personally just always use the player map. And uh, from here, what we can do is number these areas ourselves. And uh, so I can go into the above VTT tokens here and go to the numbers. And I'm just going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, these are all visible, so of course they'd be visible to me and the players. But I personally want them hidden, so what I'm going to do is select them all, right click, and do hide tokens. I could, of course, right click them in the uh, token tab and place hidden tokens, uh, but I find this is an easier or quicker method uh, when doing a bunch of tokens instead of having to right click, place token, right click, place token. Uh, it's much quicker to do it this way, in my opinion. So I'm going to now just drag these tokens to their appropriate areas. I believe five goes here, I think four there, three, two, and one. Let's double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, yeah, we're looking good. So now that I have all these tokens in place here, um, what I'm actually first going to do is place a hidden exclamation point or exclamation mark or a question mark uh, token. Um, what I do this for is so I can take the general features or any uh, basic information that I want and paste it onto a note there. So I'll right click that token, click create note, and then I'll just paste that general features there. Uh, this all looks good to me. I can, of course, format this more if I'd like. Uh, maybe I want this sentence to be on a different line break down there um, just for legibility. And maybe I'll do the same with that. But, you know, pretty straightforward. That's looking good. If I just hover over this note icon on the exclamation point, I can see all the general features of the whole uh, dungeon here without any issues. Um, so, of course, we'll move along and start to do the rest of them. Like, uh, number one, the key mouth. I'm going to just copy this text from the uh, official module on D&D Beyond. Right click the token, do uh, create note, paste that there. You can see that it'll actually paste this um, read aloud text for the DM inside a read, read aloud text box. Uh, looks good just as is. I, I can of course format this more if I'd like. I could even you know select this and give it a container like this ripped paper container and it'll look like this. Uh, you can send these containers to the players as well if you'd like. So maybe you're reading this text um, and you want to be able to have them read along with you. Um, it's an easy way to have that set up. Um, additionally, if I like hover over any text like this, the half cover, or say if there was like something like perception written in here, um, any sort of uh, condition uh, like dodge or, or um, I'm sorry, that's an action, any condition like maybe uh, incapacitated, uh, dodge would also be in there though as an action. Uh, it would tell you, you know, with this tool tip what it exactly it is. I can send that to the game log to the players as well. Um, but maybe I want to have an image in one of these notes so I can easily send them to the players. So maybe like for number three here, this kennel, uh, maybe I have a picture of a kennel that uh, I want to be able to show them within here. So I could, of course, you know, paste the, the note text in there as normal formatted as I need to. And I can go and, uh, you know, find a kennel image or maybe I'll put like the image of the wolf in here. So I could, I could right click the image here and copy the URL and that'll give me this direct token image. Or I can click the monster, open it up, copy this image address, and I will uh, then press insert uh, image and link and paste that there. And you can see that uh, once I have that filled in there, my wolf is showing nice and mean. And I can, of course, send that image to the players, too. Uh, again, like I mentioned, all these different types of things will be, uh, I'll have tooltip pop-up windows that you can read as the DM, uh, you know, send animal handling to them. This is, of course, uh, a intro adventure, so maybe this would specifically be helpful in this kind of uh, adventure. Uh, you can even roll these dice that are shown up in here if you need to. Uh, additionally, perhaps you want to link a magic item or a spell or something like that into a note uh, to be able to show it to your players. Uh, so perhaps you know inside of this note, 
I want to link a magic potion that they find in there as well. So I'll go to find a, you know, a potion of healing from a D&D and Beyond, and I'll copy the link address. I'll go back to my note, and I will press Insert Edit Link. I'll paste that link in there. I will change the text to display to the potion of healing. And then um, for the class, instead of external link, I'm going to change that to a DDB tooltip link. Uh, you can see it's for spells, monsters, magic items, or a source. Uh, you can see right there it's a link, and if I hover over this, it will show me that tooltip that I can send as well. Yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the ins and outs, basic, straightforward way that I like to do this. It's, it's really simple uh, and a effective way to have your notes within above VTT and associated to all these rooms so you don't have to flip back and forth between different tabs or uh, reading a book in front of you or whatever. Um, but of course, if you have any questions, need any other tips or any other help, feel free to let me know. Always happy to help.